doing Easter themed painted rocks today. See people are, are filtering in as, as we get started. I am Stacy. I am the education content designer here at Michaels. Big fancy title just means that I work here on our online class program. Um, and today we're doing we're doing another class in our spring make camp. Um, we're going to do some Easter themed rocks. So I hope you brought your rocks and your painting supplies. Um, we have Lindsay who's going to be in the Q and A, and she's going to be answering questions, and then she's going to unmute herself and she's going to she's going to tell me all your guys's questions. Um, I'm really excited to, to find out what kind of rocks everyone's going to make and what kind of colors and how creative everyone's going to be. So I hope you're ready to have some fun. So um, I think with that, we're going to switch over to my other camera and then I'm going to show you the different supplies we're going to use for today's class. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a rock. That's the very first thing you're going to need. So what I have here are the Ashland river rocks that you can find at Michael's. And it comes in this like little plastic container and you have a bunch of rocks to choose from. You don't have to use these rocks. You could just get a rock from your garden. But uh, what I like about these rocks is they're really smooth and they're, they're relatively clean. So you don't have to worry too much about mud and bumpy rocks, but you can use any rock that you find. So if you're using a different rock, that's perfectly fine. And every rock's gonna be a different shape and size. So you don't have to have this specific rock. So just whatever rock you have in front of you is good. And then I am using a bunch of different colors of Craftsmart paint. So I'll go over the specific colors, but know that you do not have to use these specific colors. Use whatever color of paint. You don't have to have specifically Craftsmart paint. Whatever paint you wanna use is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna be using this purple. I think it's specifically called Grape Taffy. I'm using just a simple yellow. I'm using an orange. I'm using pink. This one's called pink chiffon, fancy title. I'm using a black, a little bit pop, and then just a nice white, just a nice simple white. So those are the colors we're using. And then I have some just different sizes of paintbrush. I'm probably not going to be using every single paintbrush. I'm just going to be using a couple. These are Creatology paintbrushes. I like them because they're nice and sparkly. Love a good sparkly paintbrush. Okay, um, and then just some other supplies. So I have a paper plate that I'm going to use as my paint palette. So this is where I'm going to put my paint. And then I have a cup of water for my brushes so I can clean them. And then I have some paper towels so I can clean my rocks and my brushes. Okay, so do we have any questions about the supplies, Lindsay, or should I keep going? Not the supplies, but Amanda is asking, how long have you been with Michaels? Oh, wow. Well, Amanda, I have been with Michaels this year will be five years. So I've been with the company for, for a, a good number, number of years. All right, so the rocks I am going to be showing you how to paint today are these cute little Easter themed rocks. We have this little bunny with a bow tie. We have this little chicken coming out of an egg. And we have a good old Easter egg. And I made these examples in a couple of different sizes just to kind of show you like how the rocks can just be like each rock is different. Like see this rock is bigger. So it took it longer for the paint to dry. So if your rock is taking a really long time for the paint to dry, it could be that the rock is just a bit bigger or it could be that you put a lot of paint on it. If it takes longer to dry, that's perfectly fine. Just remember that if I'm going too fast for you, that this class is being recorded and you can watch it again as many times as you need to. It'll be available on our YouTube channel um, and on our website at michaels.com slash classes the day after the class. So it should be available tomorrow and then you can watch it as many times as you need. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my rocks with the base coat. So I have to choose which rock I want to do what. So I think I'm gonna make this one my bunny rock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this purple and I'm just gonna put a little bit out on my paint palette. 
So I have that. I'm going to move these rocks aside just to remind you I'm doing that one. And then I'm going to take this bigger brush because I'm, I'm going to be covering some more surface area with the bigger brush. And then I'll use a smaller brush for the details. So I'm just going to just paint the rock just a nice color purple. And while I'm doing this, um, I wanted to ask what other colors you guys are using. Are you using, are there, are you using your favorite color? Are you using a bunch of different colors? Let us know in the Q&A. We'd love to know. And are you excited for Easter? Are you gonna, are you gonna go Easter egg hunting? Easter, is Easter Bunny gonna bring you a bunch of goodies? Love Easter. And while we wait for those answers, Jaden actually has a question on what is your favorite color? Oh, sure. Well, my favorite color is 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 a that's like a dark blue. My specific color is my favorite color is something called cobalt blue. It's a really pretty rich blue. So you can see I've just covered that in purple. And you can see the black is still kind of coming through. I actually kind of like it that way because it it's more of a natural look, but if you want it to completely be purple, it might take a couple coats. Um, again, you just have to wait for it to dry and then put another coat on if you want it to be completely purple. So now that that's dry, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to dip it in my water so that I can clean it. And then I'm going to get started painting the base coat of our next rock. So some of their colors are blue, pink, purple, uh -huh. um, light purple, and all the colors, Ooh. red and black. Ooh, red's a good one. Those are great colors. Definitely, definitely uh, use whatever color you want to use because this is your rock and you can be as creative as you want with it. Okay, so with this one, I'm gonna use white as my base coat. So I'm gonna do white for the egg and then we're gonna paint the yellow over it. So we're just gonna start with white as our base coat. And I'm just gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna squirt a little bit onto my paint palette and then I'm going to paint over it. Another thing you could put in the Q&A is you could let us know what you're going to do with your rock. Are you going to put it in your garden? Are you going to give it to someone as a gift? Are you going to, are you going to go put it in a local park? I love, I love going for walks in parks and I see all the painted rocks from people. I think that's really pretty. There we go. There's a nice base coat of white on that one. So we're just going to sit, sit that down and let it dry. We're just going to repeat the process with our last rock, which is going to be our, our Easter egg. Okay. Just cleaning my brush. That's all. So we have some answers. They're going to put them in their bedroom, Ooh. in their backyard. Um, mm -hmm. Emily says somewhere in my house. Okay. And um, Leyland says she's using red and black for a ladybug. Oh, that's a great idea. That's really creative. Good job, guys. All right. So I just I just took some pink. I'm going to make the base coat of my Easter egg pink. And you can see my example here is a much bigger rock than what I'm using. For this one it just shows you you can use whatever size of rock you want you don't have to use the very specific size of rock that i have so stacy we do have a few questions if you can yes. go over what kind of paint you're using again and mm -hmm. the different types of paints that you can use absolutely so you can use any type of paint you want um i would recommend an acrylic paint just because that's going to dry a little bit easier um, the specific paints that I am using are Craft Smart paints. And once I'm done painting this rock, I can show them to you again and I can show you the specific colors that I'm using. And you do not have to use my specific colors. You can use whatever color of paint you have with you. 
or you can use your favorite colors. It's up to you. So I have a base coat of paint here for the paint. And so I put that, just gonna put that down. So I'm letting them all dry. So the paints I'm using are these Craft Smart paints, which you can get at Michael's, just in the paint area. And so I'm using orange, I'm using pink chiffon, I'm using yellow, I'm using white, and I'm using black. And those are the colors of paint and the types of paint that I'm using. So while we wait for these to dry, I wanted to show you some other examples. So um, I actually was able to make these example rocks with my mom and we made rocks together and she actually wanted to paint a bunny and a chicken on a rock together. So that's just another way you could be creative. If you don't wanna do these specific designs and you wanted to do something else, if you're really talented like my mom is, you can do whatever you want with your rock. Another example um, I have here is like, you can take a rock and look at it and you think, what shape does that remind you of? What does your imagination say that that, that, that rock looks like? Um, see with this rock, me and my mom thought it looked like a snail. So we painted it to look like a snail. So just goes to show you, you can do whatever you want with your rock. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm going to clean my brush and then I'm going to check to see if my first rock is dry enough that we can start cleaning our bunny. You should let us um, let us know in the comments if um, if you're using what like what kinds of what kinds of um, what kind of creatures you're drawing I, I, or uh, painting on your rocks. I love the ladybug. Are you doing like are you going to do like a unicorn or 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 your, maybe you can paint your kitty or your doggy or, or your animal. Um, you can do anything you want with your rocks. Okay, so let's get started. I think this one's pretty dry. Still a little wet, but we can work with it. So to paint my bunny, I'm gonna make his head white and then we're gonna put all the details on top of the white. So to start the bunny, I'm just gonna do a circle for the head. And you can do as big or as small circle as you want. The bigger the circle is, the, the, more, the more room you're gonna have for his, his face and his, his whiskers. So actually, actually, I'm gonna use a different brush. So I'm gonna use this brush. Cause it, I, it's, it's a little narrower, so it lets me it lets me work in the details a little bit more. I'm just gonna draw a circle with my paint. And again, if your rock is still drying, that is perfectly fine. You just take as much time as you need. These classes are being recorded and you can watch it again later. And so what I'm doing is my rock is still a little wet, so I'm just dabbing with my paintbrush. You see how I'm dabbing like that? Just so I don't mix the white and the blue too much, so the white shows up. But you can wait until your rock is completely dry so you don't get any purple mixed in with your white. You can see how that, that purple is kind of mixing in there. And that's okay. So we have some answers on what they're making. Okay. There's um, chicks, tulips, okay. bunnies, oh, mm -hmm. a baby chick, a ladybug, and uh, Amanda says that her rock was shaped like a carrot. So she's going to do a carrot. That's wonderful. Way to be creative, guys. Oh, you guys are all doing such a great job. I, I love it. You guys are all so creative. Um, so there I have my, the start of my, my bunny's head. So now I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take my brush. I'm just kind of gonna do a stroke on the top of this head with my brush to make the ears. So that's all I'm gonna do for the ears is I'm just gonna do a stroke. And I'm gonna do another stroke. And if, if I decide those ears are a little too thin, I could go over it again. Just doing a Make them a little bit, a little bit thicker. And there you have your bunny, started your bunny. So now that we have the bunny's base head um, drawn in, I'm gonna do 
the bow tie. And again, if if you're if you if you're taking if you're taking your time, that is totally fine. You do not have to be as fast as me. I I know I can be a little fast, and that's okay. You can watch it at your own leisure. Leisure. Okay. So for the bow tie on our little bunny, I'm gonna do a yellow. So I'm gonna use this yellow paint. I'm gonna put a little dab of it on our paint palette. And then, so you can break down a bow tie into three shapes. So you have a circle in the middle and then two triangles on the side. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw a circle in the middle and then two triangles on the side with my paintbrush. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna draw a circle and I'm left-handed. So I know that sometimes I, I do things um, the opposite way of what most people do. So um, if, you, if you're right-handed, you would just do it the, the other way. Um, but I just, just start with a circle. See, we have a little circle to start his bow tie off. And then I'm going to do two triangles going out both sides. And I'm just hugging it right up against his face. And you can make your bow tie as big or as small as you'd like it to be. If you didn't want to give him a bow tie, you could give him a regular tie. You could, you could dress up your bunny any way you wanted. Is anybody, is anybody using th anything other than paint? Are you using like glitter or cotton balls for your bunny? Like may maybe giving them a little cotton ball pail? Um, you should let us know in the, the q and I'd love to know. Um, so now I'm just going to fill in. So I made like a little outline. So I have my circle and two triangles, and then I'm just going to fill in the two triangles with some paint. That is all I'm doing. I hope everyone is having a good day and that you're having fun crafting with us today. That's the whole goal of this class, just to sit back, have some fun painting and creating. Here we go. So now he's got a little bow tie. And so now I'm gonna set him aside and let him dry a little bit before we put on those final details. And then we can get started on our chicken, a little chicken the egg. So the next thing for this little guy is we're gonna make the yellow for his, for his body. So with this one, let me just wash my brush here. You see Stacey, that? can you use a hair dryer to speed up the drying time? So you can use a hair dryer. Just just um, be careful because it might push your paint around. And if you have, if your design might get a little, it might get a little wonky. It might um, slope over the sides a little bit um, if the the hair dryer is on too 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 full or too too strong. So just be careful with that. But yes, you can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. So with this guy, um, you can see how the eggshell is kind of like in this jagged, jagged motion. So I'm going to do just a jagged line on the top and the bottom wherever I want my chicken to be so that I have that as my, my base as to where I want to put the yellow. So I'm just taking some yellow paint and I'm going to make a little jagged line for the top of the chicken and the bottom. Just so that I have a little guide to go by when I'm when I'm putting in my chicken. All right, so now I'm going to do the bottom. Bottom line. So we have some that are using cotton balls and glitter glue, oh. um, some stickers, and Gail is using washi tape. Ooh, washi tape. That's a great idea, Gail. That's awesome, everyone. Good job. That's so creative. I bet your rocks are all super cute. 
Okay, so I just created, I made two jagged lines and now I'm gonna fill in the middle here, right between the jagged lines, that's gonna be my chicken. See how that's all filled in like that? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna fill in that middle part. And you know, if, if you can get permission from your parents, we'd love to see your work. If you can post it online, you can use the hashtags Hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag Michaels classes. We would love to see the rocks you painted today. I'm sure everyone's rock is super cool and super duper creative. Just love it. Okay, so there we go. So we have our chicken and now I'm gonna let him, again, I'm gonna let him dry so that he, so I can put my, my details so and put his face on. And finally, we're gonna take our Easter egg and we're gonna add our designs. I would say the Easter egg is probably the quickest one to do. Because he doesn't have, or the Easter egg doesn't have a bunch of little details like the two, the bunny and the chicken do. All right. So I'm gonna do the details just like I did in this example. So we're gonna do a couple of purple lines, a couple of white lines and some yellow dots. So I think I'm gonna start with my purple lines and then we will just do it one color at a time. And you don't have to follow this specific pattern. If you wanna make your own Easter egg, you wanna use your own colors, your own patterns, you do it the way you want to do it. Because you, you, I mean, if you ever seen an Easter egg, there's not a single one of those that is exactly the same, unless it's like one base color. All Easter eggs are a little bit different and that's, that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my purple and I'm gonna make the two purple lines for our Easter egg. Okie dokie, now I'm just gonna make these just nice and thin. They don't have to be perfect. Might make it a little bit more perfect, there we go. All right. And then I'm going to do another one at the bottom of the egg. Just kind of matching that example A. There we go. We have our two purple lines. And now I'm going to do, I'm going to do the white lines. So I have two, two white lines, two straight white lines, one at the top and one at the bottom, and then a jaggedy line in the middle. So I'm going to do those three lines next. I'm going to just wash out my paintbrush and then we'll do those lines. Should let us uh, let us know in the, the comments uh, what kind of Easter egg you're making if you're making an Easter egg. Are you doing a specific design or pattern? Are there specific uh, Easter eggs that you really like? Are, do you have any like fun Easter traditions you do with your family? I know I used to um, I used to paint eggs like dye. I used to dye eggs with my mom. I really liked it to do. That was kind of a thing you did back when when I was you guys' age. Okay, so I'm gonna do a straight line at the top, a straight line at the bottom, and a shaggy line uh, in the center there. Okay, so straight line at the top. And again, they don't have to be perfect. Just do whatever line you would like. And then I'm gonna do the jaggedy line in the center. I'm just making it thinner because I don't have as much space as I did with this rock. This rock, I was really able to put a lot of paint on there, but this rock is smaller. So I'm gonna make the line smaller. And I will hold it up so you can see it better in here in just a second. There we go. It's starting to look like a little Easter egg. Okay, so final touch is the little yellow dots. I'm gonna do those little yellow dots. So there's all kinds of ways you could do dots. You could use the tip of your paintbrush if you wanted to. There's like special little like sponges you can get that you can use to make dots, but I'm just gonna use my paintbrush. So I feel like that's the simplest way to do a dot. You can also use the bottom of a pencil. All kinds of ways. All right, so my paintbrush is clean. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow. 
And then I'm just gonna just gonna kind of poke poke at my my Easter egg wherever I want. Want a dot? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be all the same size. There we go. And if you wanted to put other dots, like if you wanted to put some dots up here, I think I could use some dots. You could do that. And you have your little Easter egg. You could even, you know, what would be fun is you could you could make a bunch of rock Easter eggs, and you could you could hide them around your garden, and then you could go on a rock Easter egg hunt. Wouldn't be any candy involved, but you could uh, go find your rocks. That'd be kind of cute. All right, so our Easter egg rock is done. So now let's go back to our bunny and let's give him a face. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm gonna use the pink. So on this, this guy, on our example, you see he's got a pink, he's got two pink ears and a pink little nose. And that pink little nose helps me figure out where the face should go. So I'm gonna do that part first. So I'm gonna take some pink and for the ears, I'm just gonna put a little bit of pink in the middle for the for the, um, for the uh, middle of his ears. And then I'm going to make one little dot for his nose. So I need to get a little bit more pink. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger than that. All right, so he's got a little pink nose now. So now I have that in the center of my bunny. And now I, I know that that's the middle of his face. And so I'm gonna put the eyes on either side of the nose. And then I'm gonna put the whiskers on either side of the nose as well. So for the whiskers and the eyes and the mouth, I'm gonna use black. Just gonna put a little bit of black on my paint palette. Again, I'm just gonna use that same brush for the detail. You don't need a whole lot of black. Black tends to be very, very vibrant. And I'm just gonna poke and poke. And you can kind of dab at it until you have the eyes you want. You want it to be a little bit bigger, you can get a little bit more pink. There we go. There's some nice bunny, bunny eyes. Okay, so now I'm gonna make his, his little whiskers. I'm just gonna use that black again. And I'm just gonna do two lines on either side of the face, just like this. And you don't have to use this specific paintbrush. If you wanted to use a smaller paintbrush, you could. Sometimes it's easier to use a smaller paintbrush so you can get those little details. There we go. One line, two lines, and then another on the other side. One line, two lines, and there we go. There we go. So now he's got a couple little whiskers. And so finally, you want to do his little mouth. And for the mouth, I just did I just did like a little swoop on either side of the nose and it kind of makes a little bunny mouth. It's really small. It's kind of like, kind of like doing like just a little swoosh. And you could just do like a little U for a smile. You could do just like a little dot for a mouse. Anything can be a mouse. All right, so I'm just gonna do a swoop. And a swoop. There we go. And so now he's got a little mouth. All right. That looks really cute. And we have a lot of comments that they are excited and having so much fun. That's awesome. And, and some of the traditions are uh, still coming in that there lots of the dying of eggs and egg hunts and chocolate bunnies. Mm -hmm. um, and then some more designs, a bunny eating a carrot. Oh, cute. Um, and tulips. 
And then another tradition is uh, making cookies. That's a new one that came in. Oh, that's a good one. It sounds like you guys have a lot of fun for Easter. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to do my little chicken now. And I'm going to give him his little, his two little eyes and his beak. So for his eyes, I'm going to do the black, just like I did with the bunny. And I'm just going to put him, I'm just going to put him like just towards the top of the yellow part. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you can just put him wherever you want. So I have one eye there. I can put another eye here. And again, they don't have to be perfect, but there we go. So we've got two little eyes. He's kind of starting to look like a chicken. So finally, we want to do his little beak. And to do that, I'm just going to use a little bit of orange to make a little triangle right in the middle of the two eyes. Okay, so I have my orange. I'm just going to put a little bit on my paint palette. And then I'm just going to make a little triangle and it's kind of a triangle pointing down. It doesn't have to be perfect like this guy doesn't have a very pointy nose. But it's just whatever you can do, whatever your skill set is that's perfectly fine. All right. So I'm going to start with the line and then I'm going to do two, two little diagonal lines to make his little beak. There we go. Now he looks like a little chicken coming out of an egg. So for the final part, I just drew a little um, outline with my black just to make everything pop a little bit more. You don't have to do this part. If you don't want to do that part, you don't have to. But I just thought that it helped just kind of show, show the design a little bit more. So I was going to do that just as a final note to show you how I did that. So I just took my black and again, I'm just using that same paintbrush and I just got a little bit of black on there. And I just went and I just kind of went over the design real carefully and I just traced it. And that's all I did for that outline. Just trace the whole thing. Kind of like that. And how we're going. It's a little hard to see because again, I'm left handed. I apologize. But, uh, and the line doesn't have to be perfect. You have a little bit of the color shining through. That's fine. Okay. And then for this, I'm just going to go around the bow tie. I'm actually going to get a little bit more black there because the bow tie is still kind of wet. I'm just going to go around the bow tie. We do the circle and the two triangles. Do the circle and the two triangles. There we go. And one. You might hear my cat drinking some water. My little kitty up and down. There we go. There you go. And now you have a little bunny with the bow tie. And then for the little chicken. And for this one, I'm just going to outline his little shell. So you can really see that he's kind of popping out of the shell. So Bridget made a snail. So you'll have to tell your mom that uh, she, her rock, gave some inspiration today. Yes, that's awesome. Good job, Bridget. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to just um, go over where I made that first jagged line with my black. Yeah, now he looks like he's got a little eggshell on his head. And we're going to do the same thing at the bottom. There we go. 
And it was a little chicken and an egg. And honestly, I, I so I went, went over this one with, I went over the beak with the, the, the black in my example, but I kind of like it without. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good as it is. Well, this is our three rocks. We've got our Easter egg, we've got our little bunny, and we've got our chicken coming out of the egg. So again, we have the Easter egg, the little chicken coming out of the egg, and our bunny rocks. Now, Those look really cute. Yeah. That's everything that I have to show you guys. Do you have any final questions before we before we sign off here? Nope, they're just excited to paint with you and had a really great time. Wonderful. Well, I'm so glad that everyone could join us today. Thank you so much. I'm so glad everyone had a good time. We have some more spring make camp classes coming up that you're welcome to sign up for on um, April 6th, which I think is Tuesday. We have origami bookmarks. So if you want to learn how to do that, we have that on April 6th. And then we have bubble art on April 7th, which is Wednesday. So um, make sure to check those out at michaels.com slash classes. And thank you everyone for joining today. And again, this class is being recorded. So you can find it again at michaels.com slash classes or on our YouTube channel tomorrow. And then you can watch it as many times as you need if you want to finish up your rocks. But thank you. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day today. Goodbye.